Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Angular 18 was released on May 22, 2024, with several new features. In this video, you will learn how to install Angular 18 in your Windows system. Open your browser and navigate to the angular.dev website. Click on the docs link. Now click on the Angular CLI link. Click on Getting Started. Scroll down. Here you will see the command to install Angular CLI. Angular 18 supports Node.js versions 18.19.0 and newer, so make sure that you have it installed. In Google, type Node.js and press Enter. Click on this link. From here, you can download Node.js LTS version 20.14.0 and install it on your system. After installing Node.js, go to any directory. Click here, type cmd and press enter. Now type the command node-v to check the Node.js version installed in your system. Here you can see the Node.js version installed on my system is 20.11.1, which is greater than the required version. Go back to Angular website. Copy this command. Paste the command which you have copied and press enter. It will take some time to download Angular CLI, so please wait until the download is complete. The download is complete. Now type the command ng version and you will see the installed Angular CLI version. Here you can see the Angular CLI version is 18.0.2. Now let's install Angular 18 project. In command prompt, type ng new, your project name and press enter. Now you will be asked to select stylesheet format, use the arrow keys to select the stylesheet format. CSS is already selected so just press enter. Now you will be asked for server side rendering and static site generation, type n and press enter. It will take some time for the installation, so please wait until the download is finished. The download is complete. Now type the command cd your project name to navigate to the project directory. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Open package.json file. Here you can see Angular version is 18.0.0. In the dev dependencies you can see the Angular CLI version is 18.0.2 and other package versions. Open SRC folder. Here you can see that the assets folder and favicon.ico files are not there in the SRC folder. Now open app folder. Here you will see all the files, app component, CSS, HTML, TS, spec.ts, config.ts and routes.ts files are present. Open the public folder, which is the new edition. Here you will see the favicon.ico file. In Angular 18, the public folder replaces the assets folder in the src directory. Open app.config.ts file. Here you will see provide zone change detection and event coalescing set to true in the providers array, which enables zone.js event coalescing by default. I have opened Angular 18 and Angular 17 projects side by side to compare their directory structures and files. In both the projects, I have opened app.config.ts file. You can see that in Angular 18, provide zone change detection is a new addition in the provider's array, whereas it was not there in Angular 17. In Angular 17, you can see there is an assets directory in the src folder. In Angular 18, the assets directory is removed from the src folder, and a public directory is added in the root directory. Click here and open a new terminal. Now click here and select command prompt to open a new command prompt. Type the command ng serve and press enter to run your Angular app.
Go to your browser and navigate to localhost colon 4200 and you will see Angular home page. In this video, we learned how to install Angular 18 CLI and create an Angular 18 project. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.